We have honey robbers at my new beehive split. Stay tuned. I'm your host Jerry Hansen here at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. We're in the apiary today and I came out this morning just to check out the bees and I noticed a little bit of activity, more activity than I was comfortable with at my new hive split. Apparently there's bee robbers going on. For those of you who are not familiar with beekeeping or the nature of a bee, um, let me help you shed a little light on this subject. Bee robbing occurs when a hive, which is weaker than a neighboring hive, uh, the bees from the neighboring hive, the stronger hive, will come over and being opportunistic as they are in foraging for food, they will go into that weaker hive and take all their honey stores and remove all their food. Uh, with a weak hive being as weak it is, is, as it is, there's not enough uh, of the numbers or guard bees to be able to defend the hive. So a couple of things to do Reduce the entrance down to a small hole So it's easier to defend by the guard bees within that hive Now this hive was crawling with a bunch of swarm bees because I made the mistake of putting that feeder in the front entrance of that hive and so it attracted all the bees from this hive over here and I feared they were going inside and robbing their food as well along with the uh, the, the nectar that I put in here all that is is 50 50 uh, half sugar half water so I moved it over to this empty hive and then hopefully attracting the bees over there one of the anti-bee robbing gates I found on YouTube is a screen board uh, to block the front uh, from other bees from other hives. So let me show you. I'll go ahead and make one. We'll put it in place and I'll show you. I'm going to use some of these scissors that I can use to cut this a leftover aluminum screening and I got a stapler. So we're going to fashion a little bit of a uh, gate over that. First of all, I just want the screen to be as wide as the hive is. And we'll cut a couple of inches off of that. Not much. Okay, I got a piece about this big. And now what I'm going to do is make sure the edges are straight. Pick that up later. We're going to we're going to put a fold in it. And we're going to put another fold in it. And then I'm going to find out where the hole is to their opening. It's right there. So I'm going to cut out a little notch there. So we cut out a little notch in the screen right there and we're going to go ahead and try to see if we can get it in place. And with a stapler, we'll just put two staples in it to hold it in place.
Now when any bee robbers come, they'll come down in front of the hive and try to go in uh, straight in the uh, front. The bees that belong to the hive will come out and go either way, figure their way out. And then if they, when they come back to the hive, they'll uh, figure out that this is the hive, uh, this is home. So they'll figure a way around it to get into it. And after about three days, I'll go ahead and remove it because that's about the memory span of a bee. So that's just a simple little how-to on how, what I just learned on try to uh, thwart off bee robbing. Uh, I've got to go make up some more food and we're going to put it away from the hives and make the bees go from the hives to the food source. So what I did is I put a uh, jar on top of that fence post and I'll make the bees go over to that jar and feed and go back to their respective hives. Because I noticed I do have bees coming here and flying off back up to that hollow tree that's up behind the barn so I'm feeding those bees too. Uh, hopefully I'll get my chainsaw fixed soon and get them harvested and moved into my hives. So I'm Jerry Hansen from Pine Meadows Hobby Farm in my apiary. I want to thank you guys for coming. And please look at my other videos I'm, ha uh, I'm producing. I am in the process of building a rabbit tree. That might be of interest to you. Also that building on the rabbit tree. Uh, the building itself could be utilized as a number of things like a tiny house, a little cottage, uh, a cabin in the woods. Uh, you can use it as a storage shed, an art studio, anything. Um, it's just an 8 foot by 8 foot by 8 foot cube is what I uh, started out with uh, design. And, but it's going to uh, be used as a rabbit tree. So please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye bye.